Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last night of the Tennessee Walking Horse Celebration. Citizens Campaign Animal Wellness Advocates have been here five of the ten nights. We're here tonight. We're standing strong for the horses. These people are your American heroes. They're holding up and documenting what the United States Congress has done. This banner was sent in here by a lady from Illinois. She made it herself. She shipped it herself. And here you have the people holding it. And it's a team effort. It's a team effort and it's national and it's international. This is going to end. The city of Shelbyville has already spoken. They're not coming to this horse show. They're not having any part of it. The only people having a part of it are the ones that subsidize this big lick animal cruelty racket. The ones that pay the trainers to store these horses. And ladies and gentlemen, they are sore. They're being sorted out in Bedford County right now before they bring them into this horse show. And you know what? They're not going to spend the night in here on that celebration grounds where there's about 1,800 stalls. The reason they're not going to spend the night is, is that they're subject to the Horse Protection Act if they get in there with a sore horse. So they're going to sore them off the premise. They're going to haul them in. And a real American hero and difference maker is Ted Yoho. He's a Republican from Florida. He's an arch conservative. And we've got people on the other end of the political spectrum. They're standing together on this one issue. There's Representative Yoho is. He took those stacks onto the floor of the United States House of Representatives. He held them up and he said, you're either for animal cruelty or you're against it. And 333 of his fellow representatives said, we're against it. Representative Tim Burchett from Knoxville, University of Tennessee says, I'm against it. Let me tell you why Representative Burchett was against it. He has a daughter named Isabel. Isabel has a horse named Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue means the world to Representative Burchett's daughter, and he could not face her if he was part of animal cruelty or the racket. We've got American heroes standing up all over the place. This is going to end, and it's going to end sooner than people think. These folks over here are going to have to change. They know it. They may not tell you they know it. Attendance is way off this year, thanks to the Citizens Campaign, and we have the Shelbyville Police Department out here doing a magnificent job of protecting Americans who are exercising their constitutional rights. We'll be here as long as it takes. We've ended Big Lick Tennessee walking horse shows in Panama City Beach, Jackson, Mississippi. The Big Lick horse is no longer allowed to be exhibited at Neyland Stadium at the University of Tennessee. Folks, it's all but over except for right behind me at that celebration ground when there's a few rich people making a lot of money. Now we have a prize winning cartoonist who drew this cartoon and you see the blood running down the shield of the celebration. This paper is Chattanooga, Tennessee, okay? So the Tennessee is lined up against this and we're just not going to stand for it anymore. Be with us, support us, citizens campaign against big lick animal cruelty. Thank you very much.